So, I'm doing some last minute fine tuning on this thing. Um, <clears throat> and, and I'm stoked, man. It's turning out, it's turning out really good. Um, what I'm doing is tr I'm trying to do the intonation. I needed to bring these saddles here. I needed to bring them back just a little tiny bit across here. If you remember, look at it. It's fucking sick. Like, oh, it looks normal. Kind of. Almost. <laughs> wow, wow. Um, so remember what I did was first in order to space the five strings evenly, there's the cut I made right there. So the five strings are spaced evenly on a little bit smaller neck. In order to get that spacing, I'm like, man, how, how do I do this? So I just slid, I just slid five. I took five of these things for five and then slid over the front side of them so that they just kind of ha have a little bit bigger spacing and fit the five strings. So what I did on each one of these each one of these individual units, I cut out. Here's one that here's the sixth one that I didn't that I'm not using that I didn't cut out. So I cut out that thing right there. Remember, I made this bar. So this bar comes across the top, and screw, these studs aren't going to move, and they screw down. They used to go right in here in every sixth one, but now they're kind of you know spaced in between. So in order to slide these around, I cut th in order to fit that bar in that that. Uh, that little bar in here, I cut this thing off right there. Bam, bam. So this was flat. So this thing is just flat right here. And some of these, I like kind of won't, kind of, um, you know, reamed it out a little bit on the inside here. Other ones I had to cut off this stud here, depending on which way they move. So it's like these first two, like this one, I just moved over a little bit this way. So I had to ream out the inside a little bit more. Same with this one, this one. On this one here, I had to cut that whole thing off because it's now you can see where that stud is. It's starting to slide over. This one, I kept this side but had to cut off this side over here because that stud's coming right on. Same with this one. I was able to keep this side here. Bam. But I had to cut this whole side off. Just cut it off right there. Point right across there. So now these things, and this is holding pretty tight, but these things because they don't have that slot in there anymore, you know, the potential is for them to move a little bit side to side, you know, especially when that string pulls on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I just figured it out. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna, I, my, my Floyd Royce didn't come with these, so I just went out and got those at the hardware store and that, that t puts tension back. So you can, you know, pull, pull and pull, and get, get tension back. Um, as the strings pull in the opposite way, that comes against a little stud that's down inside there. Um, and then the next thing I think what I'm gonna do, I just figured it out just now. You can see that I gap these just a tiny bit bigger. And it's hard to figure out what you wanna put in there because there's a, there's a pivot point right there. See that little stud? And if you put something back, if I can hear, see it right there. If you put something that's touching, that's touching that right there, then you're not gonna get a good it's not going to pivot, and that's the, the key to the tuning. So whatever you do, it has to be small. And then you can see these little gaps. And I think I was going to put some glue in there and try to glue it to hold it, but metal glue is kind of tough in the first place. You have to get, like, some sort of putty and stick it in there, and I could do that. That probably would work. But I just thought felt, bam, like furniture felt that you put on the bottom of your feet of the furniture so it doesn't scrape against the floor. Cut that exactly the size. Cut a small little strip, and I'm going to slip it down in between each one of these. That way, they, they got pressure here. They got pressure here. They got pressure here, pulling back against the strings. And then they got pressure here, holding down over those studs. Bam. Good to go. I had an extra one of those. I put it in there. So it's like you're looking at it going, what the fuck? Huh. So that should be good. And it's sick. Man, I just got... I've been nervous about sending my tunes out because when you play them, it's so weird what you go through. You play your tunes and you're like, oh man, these are fucking great, man. These are the best tunes ever. And then you play them again a week later and you're like, ah, oh, they kind of suck. <laughs> you're like, oh yeah, maybe I'm not that fucking good. 
And then you play them again later, and then you play them for somebody, and they're like, uh, yeah, I don't know, yeah, I, mean, I like fucking the other kind of, and you're like, God, man, they really suck. And then you play them for somebody, they're like, dude, those are fucking great. And then you're like, yeah, you're right, they're great, I am great. It's such a trip. It's such a fucking trip, man, what you go through when you're writing songs, and, and I don't know how to get around it. But anyway, man, the guys that I'm trying to find for my band are really fucking good. I mean, I got a lot of fucking weaknesses, and I got to get guys that can cover that shit up, man. I got to find some bad motherfuckers. That's how I look at it, you know? And and all I got to do is find, there's a fucking billion players out there, so you got to find somebody that, that feels what you're trying to do, and then they're going to be like, yeah, well, he's a little weak in this and this and this, but that's cool because he's really strong over here and here and here. Um, so that's that's what my thought process is. Um, and I found a couple of dudes, fucking Felix, the Cat Pollard, and... I think it's Seku, um, something playing bass. Just a guy got introduced to me, man. He's like, today, hey, dude, send me what you got. And I'm like, uh, he's like, send it to him. I'm afraid to send it to him. <laughs> that's, that's like the last thing I want. So I send it to him. And he's like, yeah, okay, dude, well, whatever. So, yeah, so I sent it. I sent him a tune today, and he's like, fucking right away. He was like, dude, I love it. That meant so much to me. I was like, God, finally, one person likes it. Thank God. Um, so anyway, man, I'm going out to LA next week to, uh, jam with these guys. Hopefully it'll be good. Hey babe.